Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits and welcome to today's video. You might have recognised the background. We are back in the sunny side of Spalding. We're going to see, we're going to have a little peek at the units. So, yeah, it's a little bit full. If you didn't realise guys, I used to live in Spalding. I know there's a fair few new subscribers since this unit. Used to live here in Spalding but uh, I probably moved up to Liverpool about a year ago now. So I've just kind of left about 25, 30 grams worth of stock back in Spalding. Am I an idiot? Let me know in the comment section below. Am I an idiot for leaving about 25 to 30K worth of stock in this uh, beautiful container? But uh, let the games begin. Oh my, do you know what? This is a lot worse than I remembered. I think the most logical thing we can do take my personal stuff. So this is my personal GameCube, this is my personal PS3 stuff. But I think we need to take from the front and kind of work our way back. But to be honest, guys, we've actually only got a Corsa, so I'm not sure how much of this stock we're gonna get in. Let's see what's inside box number one. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is just cameras, clothing, probably old RA and some Pokemon cards inside. There seems to be a lot of stuff I really need to crack on with now. So yeah, just cameras after cameras after cameras. A lot of them have been tested and uh, there, there is a little sticky note on some of them telling me what I need to do with them. Like that one says it's working it just needs a lead so i've obviously done that somewhere sometime i cannot remember but a lot of this is probably absolute bank and it's just been left in that unit for the last couple of years like we're still on the box number one and there's a load of like boxed samsung cameras i'm not too sure on prices off the top of my head i might throw up a, a few screenshots of some some current solds but this is the samsung s165 we've got s85 this is in its original box a panasonic made in japan nvgs 11 eb in its original box which is crazy and to be honest it all seems to be there so uh that's a bit of a result. It's got its Manuel, it's got its camcorder itself, it's got its uh, original maybe? Yeah, maybe original actually, original battery charger. Uh, it's got its original guarantee there and its original camera case. So yeah, but that's worth a few, Bob. All right, in the car, you go. Mmm, box number two, but uh, the fine of the day, it's got this little light, whatever, I don't know what it is. We've come to the conclusion, some sort of poker. So we can look, if you like poke your missus. I don't know what it is. If you know what this is, let me know in the comment section below. But like, we've got stuff here that looks to be to be just body only. I have no idea. We've got some slide copiers. We've got some Solar 3 side viewers. We've got some just basic Fujifilm digital cameras. There is just, it's just the box that keeps on giving. The GameCube is probably the best console of all time, isn't it? Let's let's be honest. What's, let me know in the comment section below, guys. What is your favourite games console? Mine's either between the GameCube or the PS2. I don't think you can go too far wrong with either. Or the GameCube has some great stuff. The, the PS2, I mean, what an OG console. But yeah, I definitely want to get some of the personal stuff home with me too. Which I do believe are in these two boxes. But these two boxes are freaking huge. What I think I'm going to do is take three or four boxes of stock up with me and a big box of gaming sort of personal items. Just because I genuinely really want to try and have a bit of a retro gaming set up in the, in the house somewhere. Quite keen. Well, I was back in the day. Not too much now. I did like my video games. I just like collecting them now um, and playing the odd few games. But like I said, the GameCube and the PS2, what a console. Interesting fact, I actually bought that thing there, which is like a Philips Cube TV, a little miniature one. I say it's mini, but it's still pretty, pretty big. I bought that maybe two and a half, three years ago when I first ever met Sam Sells stuff and the Global Thrifters. Flipping hell. And I've still not... I've still not listed it. This is personal stuff now. I think this is just the games. Yeah, there's not much here that I actually want to take. Oh, boys. I remember when Ricky sent me these for Christmas two, three years ago. Look at that. Cheers, love. Well, not love. <laughs> Cheers, Ricky. A hundred pound. Wow. Yeah, I spent a hundred pound on these baubles from Ricky. Mental. What was I thinking? But yeah, 
Oh, Ricky, mate, I've still got them. Do you know what? I'm going to take them and put them up on my Christmas tree this year. Because you can't go wrong with a little bit of Christmas decoration. I tell you what, we've got some nice stuff. But this stuff here, this this here, guys, I used to watch this when I was a kid. And I had the pleasure of working with Kevin back in the day when I went on Bidding Wars for the Channel 4 TV show. And he gave me this little puzzle piece. Because if you didn't know, that's what P Blue's Clues is all about. It's all about finding blue paw prints and puzzle pieces. And he gave me this and signed it for me, which is an absolute incredible touch. Mental to think, but when I was a kid, I used to watch this program and I actually genuinely got to work with him. He's an absolute legend. Now, this is where the consoles are. Well, some of the consoles are. Obviously, I've shown you a few. So we've got a box Nintendo 64, which did have a limited edition sleeve. However, it's uh, I ripped it. <laughs> I ripped the sleeve the last time I did a video on this and I sold it to one of you guys for like 25 quid. Again, much appreciated. That actually genuinely hurt my feelings when I did that, uh, but I played it off quite cool. It's got the official Nintendo security sealed stickers. It's in fairly good nick, to be honest. Uh, but like I said, I do genuinely collect video game consoles. So when I ripped that, it was a painful day. Again, another banging little console at the Dreamcast. Talk about bangers. This is a banger. Who remembers Crash Bash? Oh my days. And not on a platinum disc either. It's on a, uh, the original disc. Look at that. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, you find the uh, the platinum one. But the fact that I've managed to get the one with the, with the black strip, absolute banging. Woo! Interesting fact again, guys. This is actually my original PlayStation 1 which I've had since I was a kid. It might have even been my mum and dad's, to be fair. However, this, <laughs> I've had this since, uh, since, well, not day one, but I've had it for a very, very long time. I think me and my missus have agreed on taking the PS1 and the PS2 and maybe the GameCube home with us this time, and then the rest is going to stay in here for, uh, for a rainy day. The GameCube games that we are rocking are Mario Kart Double Dash, that's coming home with us. Resident Evil, that's coming home with us. And then we've got Star Fox Adventures. Who can remember Star Fox Adventures? What? A freaking throwback. Some free beastie games. I haven't actually got that many GameCube games, but what I do have are bangers. And if you, if you disagree, then that's fine. But these are three of the best games on the GameCube. PS2 games, Crash Bandicoot, GTA San Andreas, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Again, what a banger. Oh, it's just banger after banger after banger. Right, GameCube, you're coming home with me. Sega Mega Drive 2 again in its box. Back in the day, 1999. Gee! But uh, yeah, beautiful console. Loves playing um, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe on this bad boy. But uh, I can't find them in this unit. But then, I don't think I can find much when I'm looking at this. It's... <laughs> I'm not taking the N64 this time. That can stay here, but we're going to pack that up better. Another Hi-Fi system I think I picked up when I uh, first ever met Sam and Global Thrifters. <laughs> <laughs> and I insist to keep car booting. Good resale value in these cards, but I'll probably save them for another day uh, and get some of this stuff actually sent to PSA. Uh, we've got some absolute bangers. Who can remember in the channel when we uh, opened up about 15 booster boxes of uh, LOB in Korean? You know, lock lockdown days, man. Lockdown days were fire when it came to Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Top Trumps, European football stars. Good old days. I genuinely have boxes and boxes full of controllers, wires and everything. I mean, I must have gone through about... There must be like tons of original Xbox stuff in it. I think look, there's four. There's an Xbox 360. I'm looking for another PS1. What an earth is all that orange stuff? Ew. <sighs> Oh, who can remember the copper colorway? R9 Mercurials. Jeez. These were worth so much money when I bought them. And um, all I've done is left them in the unit. Because that is how I roll. Until next time, we're going to keep you there. Guys, I've got literally totes, 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 totes full of electronics and clothes and trainers. And I don't know what is over there because I physically can't get over there. That is my old bed. Uh, probably should have a mattress protector on it, but I don't. As you can see from this exact camera angle, I am covered in tote bins, all of stock. <laughs>
what I'm going to do now is put everything back because my car is actually pretty full already and we've still got two car boots to go through this weekend. But what I'm going to do is when I actually get back Liverpool, I'm going to go through all the camera stuff with you and I'm going to set up one of the games consoles and we're going to give it a bit of a spin to make sure it still works after being in the unit for a few years. Let's get home. Right, we are now back home and obviously we've just come back from the unit and we're going to go through the stock now that we've picked out. But obviously we have to test every single thing before putting it on eBay. So that is literally what we're going to be doing now. Box number one completed. However, it ain't great, but uh, I'll show you all at the end of everything that we've picked up. So it's the next day and I've decided just to crack on with all the stock that we got from the unit. And to be honest, it wasn't actually that much. So there's a whole box of broken stuff, which is just never good. However, flip the camera around and show you a little bit of what we've actually uh, sorted out. And then we're going to go on to the exciting thing and setting up the PS2 or the PlayStation 1. This is basically what we are going to be, uh, what we can actually get on listing with now. Uh, not much at all. So this line, starting from here, going all the way down there, is worth £10 each. So as you can see, there's a few things, but nothing really major. And then this pile here, going down here, is worth £15 plus postage. This is probably one of the coolest items. It's that cool. It's... Uh, well, it's not really. It's £15, but it's going to be a letter. So postage is going to be really, really cheap on that. Then we've got some vintage Canon um, system magazines, which are going to bundle together. That's quite a cool piece. We then have, uh, what, one, two, three, four items that are worth 20 quid. And then we've got three items that are worth 25 quid. Then four items that are worth 30 quid. Three items that are worth 40 quid. And you guessed it, that last lens is worth £70. This box is worth nothing and it's probably going to be auctioned off this we can't actually test because we haven't got the charger that will charge the battery so we can't actually test that fully but this if it is working is probably worth around about the 100 pound mark and then really a box full of manuels but uh, we haven't actually got the matching cameras for them ps2 let's be having you the gamecube is going to be set up in a different room but we're going to set up the fat playstation 2 downstairs ps2 is probably one of the most iconic consoles of all time and i cannot wait to get that set up we're also going to be using this uh scan converter which is an upscaler basically by a brand called kaiko really really decent plug and play hopefully plug and play upscaler basically what an upscaler will do it will make your console and your playstations and your vintage consoles upscale to slightly better graphics and slightly faster frame rate uh this probably cost me about 250 quid um but it's being used between the family so me and my brother have a couple of them and we're just floating around and uh yeah so yeah 250 quid hopefully worth it and here it is it's this little thing that's uh hardly been uh 3d printed properly fingers crossed that this works <laughs> Yes, sir. We've got dark cloud on the screen. Is there any sound? Yes, there is. You can hear the wind whistling. Oh, boys, the upscaler is working. Happy freaking days. Oh, boys. Look at this. Jeez. And I don't even, this isn't even a QLED or an OLED or any of them decent screens. It's just a simple LCD. But dark cloud is looking hella fresh with the upscaler. Now, all I need to do is tidy up them cables. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Who remembers this game? Finally, we can absolutely get a retro gaming setup properly with the upscaler because that is looking fresh. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I am obviously going to be smashing out a bit of Dark Cloud tonight. Absolute legendary game. And I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one if you did enjoy this video guys please do me one favor smash that like button it really does help the channel it helps me grow and all that good stuff so yeah i'll see you a lot in the next one. Boom.